Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. I'm Chris, and today I'm here with special guest, my friend Jeremy. Cooking with the Vegan Zombie. And why is he here with me today? Well, because we have a very special episode. I have been asked by several people to do a vegan recipe that is kidney friendly, meaning if you don't have good kidneys, what should you be eating? And Jeremy is the perfect person for that because about a year ago today, Jeremy was having failing kidneys. He was on dialysis. He needed a transplant. He was trying to survive and here he is today. He is post, post transplant? Post transplant. And you're doing good? You're feeling healthy now? I can tell. Way better than I was last year, that's for sure. <laughs> so his kidneys were failing him for years and he, he finally needed a kidney. Uh, he was dying. So he had to figure out what he could eat. We have kind of come up with a recipe for you guys today. So first of all, what are the things that are bad? What, what things can we not eat if we have failing kidneys? Well, the two uh, major things are consuming very low phosphorus and potassium products. We want to have uh, a recipe that's low in sodium, so low in salt and stuff like that, and phosphorus. So phosphorus, that would be like stuff like tofu and stuff. Exactly. It's very difficult to be vegan while you're on dialysis. Because tofu is like a huge staple for vegans. Beans, nuts, and seeds. <laughs> <laughs> so avocados, no. And avocados, no. It's high in potassium. Cashews, nuts, no. No, no nuts. So it's we're not. really gonna be like, kind of thinking outside the box today. We are. <laughs> um, so, what things can we? What are good for your kidneys? Well, it's not like you have to eliminate all those products. You just have to cut be, them down. You have to cut them down very yeah. sparingly. A little bit of salt, but not overly saturated. Yes, yeah, about. 1200 to 1500 milligrams of sodium a day. You want to keep your phosphorus down to 1200 to 1600 milligrams a day. Um, An another here, thing that I should have told people is Jeremy has a background in dietetics. So I do. Uh, he knows what he's talking about here and he's actually experienced. Yeah, it, so. nutrition science major and okay, so it was a little bit more. Uh, challenging because I've never had experience with uh, dialysis or post-transplant patients. So I was my own patient and I worked with uh, the professional RDs at the hospital and at treatment centers. And you've definitely come a long way. I remember you couldn't even walk no. um, 100 steps without having to you know, get a good uh, no. rest and a breath there. And now you're like, you're at the gym every day, you're running, working out. Yeah, huge improvement. So what we have here today, we're gonna start with a uh, just regular quinoa, and we're gonna do two parts. One. Yep. So we're gonna do one cup of quinoa. You can actually make this taste a little bit better if you you kind of toast it first on a skillet, and then I have some uh, vegan veggie stock, and this is a, a low sodium one. Correct. Uh, from our local grocery store, Wegmans. So we're gonna use two cups of this. You don't have to use veggie stock, you can just use water. But uh, I'm trying to make this a little more flavorful since we're trying to cut down on things like sodium salt. So I'm gonna go put this over on the stove and we're gonna bring it up to a boil. All right, and once that's up to a boil, we're just gonna put it on simmer, cover it, and let it cook for about 10, 12 minutes. Cauliflower? Cauliflower. All right, we're gonna... It's very good for kidney function. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. Same. Broccoli. It's a superfood. All right, so we got a little bit of broccoli. We have a little bit of cauliflower. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna steam it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in there and then I have a bamboo steamer. Oh. We're gonna put two layers. We have some broccoli, we have some cauliflower. And can we use red cabbage? Definitely. A lot of uh, nutrients in the red cabbage. I'm just gonna chop this up nice and thin chop. We'll probably use half of this. Probably. Bit. And then we'll do the same thing with the broccoli, florets. Okay, so what I, what I like to do, I like to season it up a little before I put it in there. We want them to be about that big or so. Just keep, their, keep a little bit of their shape. We don't want them to be into, into nothingness. We just want a little, little flakes of this. Just make sure you have a really sharp knife like this Shanzu. This is what I have here. I have about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar there. Most seasonings are good. Yep. Okay, no so issues. I have a little bit of dried 
cilantro. I have some paprika, uh, some pepper, not gonna put salt in it. Some dried oregano, a little bit of that. And some dried basil. If you wanna add anything to that, feel free. Sometimes hot sauce is good, but a lot of hot sauce has sodium. Fine sodium. So oil is okay. I could use oil, but I'm trying to keep this as oil free as possible. So a, a nice little dab of olive oil could coat it a little like bit. A little tablespoon bit. of olive oil. If you want, we'll get the first row. We'll put all that there. Second one, we're gonna put the cabbage. So that'll be all nice and steamed. Very see colorful. That? You see that? Yeah. Bring it over here to the steamer. Let it do its job. What about eggplant? Could you eat eggplant? You can eat eggplant. So what we're gonna do with the eggplant is we are going to saute it up on the uh, skillet. A nice cast iron skillet. And I really wish I had one with, like the, with the grill on it so I could like almost like a panini so I could get those grill marks on it, but I don't. So we are gonna cut these into like little fillets and try to do the best we can. Uh, I'd say two of these bad boys would probably be good. I'm just gonna lightly oil the pan yep. a little bit. Pan smear it. Not too much at all. I'm gonna go put this on some heat. Looking at about a medium high heat there. Chickpeas. Garbanzo beans. Every patient's different. For me, uh, in my case, it was uh, a low protein diet but there are some patients that need uh, high protein. This will satisfy either or. And we have a lot of protein already with the quinoa, which quinoa is a complete, is a complete protein. protein. I cook my chickpeas all the time, either over the pan or recently in the air fryer. So I have my Chefman air fryer right here, which I use pretty much every day. And just real easy recipe, I'm not even gonna use any oil. I'm gonna put in a little bit of apple cider vinegar there and a few more different spices. Um, the only thing I'm gonna add to this one, I got a little bit of curry powder, and you said you can eat curry powder. Herbs and spices usually aren't any problems with people with uh, kidney issues. Okay, then I'm gonna put in also some cumin. Already smelling really good there. A uh, little bit of black pepper, smoked paprika if you have it, and some dried basil, a couple pinches of that. Some dried oregano. I'm gonna put about oh, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And we're gonna just mix that up. Smells really nice. Look at that. It's good already. Really well seasoned. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. Probably 10 to 15 minutes. And now we just wait. I'm thinking we do like, kind of like a, oops. So, so our, uh, oh, those look so good. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Wow. That's what the air fryer does to the, uh, the chickpeas. Mmm, so good. Okay, so very good. One of the best things to have in a kitchen is an air fryer. Made that all without any oil. All right, so we need a dressing now. We do, um, and we should I'm pack think, that with nutrients. Right? Can we do like a vegan honey mustard base, yeah. and then kind of add some things to it? What nutrients are really good for the kidneys? Well, when you're on dialysis or pre-dialysis, definitely turmeric. Turmeric. A little bit of ginger, maybe. Ginger. I'm gonna put a. A little bit of lime juice lime. there. And what about cilantro? Cilantro, all these are great antioxidants. Cilantro is a natural blood detoxifier. I know uh, some of you guys don't like cilantro. Yeah. Um, that's fine if they don't put it they in don't, there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just put like a little bit in there or maybe a lot of it. You know, these ingredients can protect you from getting sick while you're on dialysis or going through renal failure. I'm gonna put some agave as the, the vegan honey. Two and a half, three tablespoons. I have a little bit of organic vegan spicy brown mustard. Most mustard is already vegan, but uh, put a little bit of that and maybe a tablespoon. That's gonna be a good honey mustard, which I made in a previous video. And then I'm gonna squeeze half of a lime in there. It already smells really good. Yeah, everything smells good. A little bit of cracked pepper. These chickpeas might not make it to the yeah, you're, main dish. You're uh, ginger, I'm just gonna put a little bit of ginger powder in there. Just a little bit, probably like a quarter of a teaspoon. Same with the turmeric. Anything else you recommend putting in there? A little bit of nutritional yeast? Nutritional yeast. Okay, we'll put about, Get I'd say- B, B vitamins? About a tablespoon. A little bit of cumin. Sounds good. Quarter teaspoon. Oh, cilantro, bam. We are going to blend this up. So I'm just gonna go over to the blend tech, blend it up. It came out nice and green. So now, I'm gonna take a little bit of that, not the whole one, but a little bit of that, and just pour it over the 
chickpeas right there. Now we are going to assemble our masterpiece. We're gonna need a bowl, we're gonna need a big bowl. Here's one right here. Okay, so the quinoa, nice and fluffy. It's got a little more flavor than normal because we used the, uh, the veggie stock. About two scoops in there of quinoa. Put some of that broccoli in there and some cauliflower. It smells really good. Yeah. So now we're gonna put some chickpeas. Put that over there. Some of that cabbage on there, that looks really nice. All the colors are coming together. And then some of our carrots. And then here's our eggplant steaks or whatever you want to call them. We're just going to throw that on there like that. Both of us like cilantro. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on there as well. I don't know. You can't do flax seeds or chia seeds, can you? It's not to say that you can't eat them. It's just you have to portion them out. So if that's the case, we're just going to, we're going to exclude them. These chickpeas are so good, dude. Top that off with a little bit of the dressing. Looks the vegan honey mustard slash spicy. And there you go, there's our bowl. Boom. You can see that. So that would be a kidney safe meal. And it looks delicious. Definitely. And this would be a perfectly portioned out kidney safe post-transplant. So that would be meal. perfect if when you were in recovery. Yes. That would have been perfect for you to eat. What, by the way, what was your go-to food? Like what, what kind My of things did you like to eat? Definitely go-to was uh, quinoa. Um, quinoa. Obviously portioned out. What about uh, all the all these vegetables are awesome for you? I love sweet potatoes, but it's very high in potassium. So I my second go-to is the carrots, which has beta carotene in it. That converts to vitamin A. That it's an antioxidant. So pretty much this was it. This was my go-to right here. Awesome. Very um, cool. You know we get blood work done and. I always passed my tests and I got a sticker. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a good thing because yeah. it, it translated well, to real life and you're healthy now. Exactly. So. What do you say, let's try it. Yeah, let's do it. A cilantro. A little bit of eggplant, some cauliflower. That dressing on there. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't make the dressing for my food, but that's killer. Gotta make sure that when you're being treated that you obey by the rules and eat as healthy as possible, do what they say, and that will get you on the list faster. Good luck. So that's it guys, uh, I guess we'll do more. Thank you so much yep. for being on the show. Any advice that are, anyone that's going through this, take it day by day, be positive as you can be. It's rough road, but if I can do it, you can do it. All right, guys. Well, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.